Okay, so I encountered some technical difficulties on that live, so we are starting this one. Happy Friday. I hope y'all are hitting up the clubs, dancing your little hearts to some Kim Petras, Charlie XCX, whatever. Uh, just to clarify, this is an art account of an artist. <laughs> just if you didn't know. Okay, so we're gonna start making him shiny, which is one of my favorite plots. Let's get the brush sizes correct. Come correct. This is the right size, and then the blending brush as well. Okay, and let's begin. So I always start on the left pack for some reason. Love SpongeBob. Who's your favorite SpongeBob character? I feel like I really like Squidward. Oops, I shouldn't be highlighting yet. So first, lay these down. So we're just making him shiny. When finishing this drawing, Thanks, the Mo Art Fuzzy Follow. Are you a fellow artist? If so, what kind of art do you do? So that's mainly all the shine that I want on there. Hello, heart. Heart with wings. Now we put the shine on the face, the visage. We're gonna make the brush a little smaller for that. Bubble Buddy got a blow up? Bubble Buddy, I forgot about Bubble Buddy. <laughs> I really love Doodle Bob. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't know you guys watched SpongeBob. I thought you guys were. I thought that was too old for you guys. I was drawing a girl with a jellyfish haircut. 
How does that look like? Oh, okay, I think I know what you're talking about. And then we gotta get the two dots on the chin. Little highlight here. The jellyfish haircut is very similar to like scene haircuts back in the day. Which is emo adjacent. Okay, so we have the placement for the shine. Now let's blend it in a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the highlight on the lips and the pepperonis. All right, lips, the lip gloss, boop boop. And then the pepperonis, tilly. Thank you, babe. Some pepperoni highlights never hurt anybody. And I think that's most on paper because I'm better at traditional art. That's a good thing. People respect traditional art more, especially if you want to get into galleries. That's good. I need to start doing more traditional art. I feel like that's how a lot of us started. But I'm not sure about how the iPad babies will go. And now I'm going to blend. Not a lot, but just so it's not as harsh. Like that. Like so. And if I miss one, please tell me. Start on paper, then color digitally. Sometimes I do the opposite of that. I start digitally, then paint on paper. What kind of things are you making art of? So his body is all done. Now let's blend the face one. It's going to make the brush a wee bit smaller. I don't blend in the nose because the more unblended the highlight is, the wetter it looks. And that's what we're going for, babe. My characters in my story. Some OCs. I 
like the color swatches you make. Thank you, babe. It makes it easier to revert back to the colors if they're right there. I was debating making him just smooth, but maybe we can add some pepperoni hair. You know what I'm saying? We'll test it out. We'll do hair on a separate layer. This is kind of like eyelashes. <laughs> Do we like that? I don't know. Persian rugs? What does that mean? Persian rugs? Dang it. I just wanted to do the pepperonis. My heart is always telling me. Do more. When did I do that? <coughs> heart with wings, you're staying up all night to do art. Ooh, that's perfect for a Friday. What are you working on now that you've finished your person with the jello head? It's a jellyfish haircut. My cousins call their hairy. Oh, Persian rugs? Ooh, cool. Do your cousins have mustaches? What's your art style right now? My favorite thing that helped me with my art, if you Google Loomis method for portraits, 
If you research this on YouTube, it'll help you out a lot. If you haven't tried that, it helps me out a lot. I used to have like a, an anime kind of inspired look. Sometimes I still make my eyes too big on my portraits and I have to go back and change it. <laughs> You guys like this Persian the the hair here or so here's with here's without with without with without what do you guys like without or with I was thinking maybe I should redo his hair with a different brush. Let's just see how it would look. I've been getting very into using this brush called Little Pine. Oops. Oh my god, where is it? For like line work that isn't for the body. So let's try it out and see if it works. A separate layer. Both are very nice. Yay. Thank you. I think I'll stick with the hair then. Okay. So if I want to replace this hair, I'm going to have to dim the line art up. How do you get the textured background? <clears throat> Great question. So I, I googled uh, paper textures for Procreate and like a forum came up, a forum, and they have like free downloadable paper textures. And I was like, gimme. I like the, the look that it gives it. Then you just put it in there like a picture in the background. And you're set.
think I don't like the chest hair. I think I am liking... to find good um, royalty free music sometimes I go crazy because I'm playing um, I like playing I like playing my music from Spotify but I re-upload all these lives to YouTube and the latest ones that I've done they've all been deleted because I was using copyrighted music so I gotta stick with this
Amanda. Hello, love. Welcome to Burger King. Doing pretty good. How are you? We just had to redo the line work for the hair with a different pen. But I like this pen texture better for hair. You can't really tell from far away, but up close. Thank you, Goth Girl Art, for the the rose. It smells. get a Whopper with the lettuce or tomato. Oh, we have a lot of tomatoes. I get the Whopper too. I like my Whopper plain with mayo and ketchup and cheese. Goth girl art. Thank you, love. I always wish I was goth. I love goth fashion. we do something called Yagali Gurus. Ooh, what is that? Giat. Thanks for the Giat, Eminem. Giat, Giat. Giat, Giat. People don't say Giat anymore. I feel like people used to always come on my live and say Giat. But they stopped. So thank you. <laughs> Your drawing is amazing. Thank you. Please watch some matches. Oil. Oh, I've seen those turkey oil wrestling. Those are really gorgeous. I love them. Where do I sign up? You guys know how to spell in cursive or write in cursive oops <laughs> g and y is really weird close together Get. a tattoo nah tattoos are a little too complicated <clears throat> the only time i do tattoos is um when I do a commission for someone and they have tattoos, then I'll do it. But it's a little strange doing art inside of art, especially when it's not a real person. Gat. Thank you, Shy, for the follow. Are you from Chicago? What's that S that people used to do? Like this? How is it done? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Like the Skechers S. 
What does Gyat mean? It means they have a nice physique. And it's short for saying, God damn. Like, God damn. God damn, babe. So they just say, Gyat. Right, right, like that's right, correct? I'm like sharing false information. So he's done. I think I actually am not going to put the chest hair on him. We're just going to leave him smooth and slippery. I usually do body hair, but we'll keep him smooth. Tiff, hello, love. Randomly Jen. Y'all are back from the club, the Friday night club. The club. I'm good, and I hope you're doing good, too. <sighs> you are tough. What is going on? Are you dehydrated? Sometimes my lives are just full of awkward silences. Okay. I'll just talk to myself. Chilling with your doggos. Heck yeah. Tell your doggos, I say. pizza today. What did you guys eat today? I had a whole Pizza Hut pizza and I ate that in less than 10 minutes. I should join one of those competitions that is like, how fast can you eat it? I would join one of those like hot dog eating or like whatever pie eating competitions, but I'm scared that I would, it would get lodged in my throat and then I would be like, done for. Pizza is good, pizza is way good. I had lemon, chicken, and rice. Lemon chicken, okay. I thought you just had like a lemon on the side. I was like, hey, I don't think I've had lemon chicken. Is that Indian food? Tealy. My boyfriend was trying to get pizza, but I forced him to make... Ooh, what, what kind of... Like a, is that a salad? Salad type of thing. Hello, Subins. Wait, are you in Turkey, Tilly? Oops, not eraser. 
Turkish, but I live in the U.S. with my boyfriend, who is Chinese. Ooh, lovely. How did you guys meet? chicken piccata. Ooh, Italian food is my favorite. I love carbs and cheese. And then you choose which brush you want to use to blend. I like to blend with Pandini. Yeah, this is the brush and this is blend and erase. You got it, bruv. steps but I ate the whole pizza so I think I'm gonna have to get on the treadmill extra but I don't raise my arm then I'll probably not get seen <laughs> I definitely saw you yet? No, but I really want to. That would be really fun. Have you tried it? Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's do one more flip check. This little lump is kind of bothering me. We're gonna, we're just gonna blend it out. It's not supposed to be that intense. Yes, 
but it's difficult, or maybe I'm too impatient. Ooh, what animation are you working on? It probably is difficult. All right, I'm gonna go head out and run on the treadmill since I ate all that pizza. Thank you for tuning in, babe. Say hello to whoever. <laughs> Bye-bye.